everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is a little bit different from all my other haul videos. Obviously I've got a few pieces up here but this video is like a last minute panic gift guide for Christmas and also bits for yourself mainly for me. Nearly everything that I have got in this video are things that I want, that I, I will consider gifting to other people. Everything in this haul is from the brand Skinny Dip. I'm sure you all have heard of them. I love Skinny Dip. Literally, I buy pretty much all of my Secret Santa presents, my Christmas presents, from Skinny Dip anyway. So when they emailed me being like, would you like to collaborate? I was like, yes. So yes, yeah, this video is in collaboration with Skinny Dip and I hope that you love absolutely everything in it but it's just basically a last minute gift guide kind of haul from skinny dip and you know things for yourself i keep looking at the floor because there's lots of little bits on the floor and then obviously we've got the t-shirts and jumpers that i'm obsessed with i'm gonna leave those till last and i'm just gonna talk you through some little gift guide ideas i've kind of separated it all into different sections we've got a stationary section a kind of travel-y section a kind of mug a kind of you know like a, a kind of a beverage section should we start with beverages why not because <laughs> it's weird in 2020 i'm gonna try and be way more aware of using plastic of having reusable mugs and straws and cutlery and stuff like that because i am awful for just oh i've got hair tie on my wrist i'm just awful for going in starbucks getting a starbucks like plastic cup paper cup plastic paper paper getting a plastic straw and just like throwing it away i recycle but it's not great going into 2020 one of my biggest things i'm going to work on next year is being more environmentally friendly so saying that i have oh got these three little bits first up is this reusable coffee mug this is a bamboo travel mug it is made sturdy bpa free silicone and natural sustainably sourced bamboo fibers and to make everything better, it's manufactured using a low emissions, eco-friendly process. Wow, fabulous. Dishwasher safe as well, but don't microwave it. So yeah, it's got a silicone lid. It's a coffee mug. Just take it with you, throw it in your bag and then fill it up with a nice little Starbucks coffee and or other coffee brands, whatever you fancy. Make it at home. Who knows? As you can see, it's got little peaches all over it. £14 this was and it's so cute. Nice little size. So that is for hot beverages. Now let's move on to cooler drinks. I absolutely love this. So this is a black speckle. Well, it's a white bottle with black speckles. Can you see the speckles? Focus. There we go. Lovely. Looks like a kind of granity paint splattered kind of vibe with a cork top, which you unscrew. And yes, just a water bottle. Lovely. Fabulous. But it means you're not throwing away plastic bottles. You're buying like a bottle of water to get on the train. Just have one of these in your bag. Fill it up. Screw it shut. It won't leak. Lovely. And it's pretty. And you're saving the planet. This comes in lots of different colours as well. So also a great gift idea. I'm going to actually not say that throughout the video because I think everything here is a great gift idea. Up next, talking of reusable... I've got my little bag of reusable straws. So these are these gold metal straws. You get three in this little bag. Three? Yes. You get three gold straws. You get a nice little bag and you get a little straw cleaner. Oh my God. Look at it. Look at it. I love it. I thought this was a great little secret Santa present as well. I would just throw these in my handbag, have them ready to go. Any drinks that you order that need a straw and you can clean it on go as well. That's beverages. Now, should we move on to travel? Because you can also take these with you when you travel. Let's start off with plain essentials. I saw these two things on the Skinny Dip website and I was literally like, oh my god, obsessed. So this one is a passport holder and this one is a luggage tag. These are for all my friends fans out there. If you can see if it will focus. Can you see what it says? Oh my god, this plane doesn't even have a phalange. And if you are a friends fan, you will know what that means. It's basically... I'm not going to explain it. Go watch the episode. It's the last ever episode of Friends when they are freaking out about trying to get Rachel off the plane. And I love this. I love the colour. I love the reference. And I love that it's got little, like, compartments in it as well. Then, also, you can't have a passport holder without a matching baggage label. I mean, come on. So this one says, there is no phalange. <laughs> just find so funny. Anyway, and you can put your name and address on it. It's a really cute little baby, baby pink. Baby pink. And they have a little Friends label. 
love it. Those are my organisation-y bits for travel. Then this is for when you're on the plane and you want people to just leave you alone. Or when you're just, you know, trying to get some sleep. So this is an eye mask. Now me and my sister are obsessed with eye masks recently. If we travel anywhere together or if we're going on a plane, sharing a room or whatever, we both have eye masks because we're both up at different times. I'm usually up later than her working, so she has her she has an eye mask on. I love this one. This one is a pink squishy. It's like so padded and so lovely and it says it's it's kind of rude. I should put a warning label on this video because it's rude, but it says fuck off. <laughs> and I think that's so so funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I've really nailed that. But you know what I mean? It's like really like old schooly, vintagey, pink, velvety. I love it. It gives a very clear message to the people that try and wake you up to see if you would like a drink. I don't want to drink. I want to go to sleep on the plane. Now, little travel beauty sets. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stocking presents, secret Santa presents, gift guide things. I would be super happy if I was gifted either of these two things. One is this little manicure set which is so sweet. It's £18. Sorry, some of the stuff has prices on it, some of it doesn't. It's this gorgeous like glittery pink, look at that shimmer, glittery pink case. And then inside it, it has, oh, it has a little pair of tweezers, a little nail file, a little cuticle thing, tiny little scissors and nail clippers. Now this is so useful. I travel a lot and I am always getting places being like, oh, I don't have any scissors or oh, does anyone have nail clippers? Does anyone have tweezers? Anyone got a nail file? Like just for those like, annoying breakages or things that are just, you know, that you just don't have. I never remember to pack any of this, but if it's all in a little set, you just fling it in your suitcase and ta-da dreamy and i absolutely love the little case as well so that is a really good idea everything i've bought is pink i don't know why i'm acting surprised then next up if you don't want to buy the whole kit you just want a quick little last minute secret santa present or just a little present for yourself then is it that i've i bought this little tweezer set as well this is just super cute it comes in this like tortoiseshell little bag so you don't stab yourself if you put your hand into your makeup bag the amount of times i've stabbed myself on like tweezers or like little scissors gorgeous pair of like gold tweezers and everyone knows what tweezers look like but then they come in this beautiful little bag like tortoise shelly i don't know if you can see that but just like cute and vintagey this is really good as well if you want to fling in a handbag and stuff and you don't want your tweezers to get like dirty and you don't want to like, have to disinfect them all the time really nice and easy lovely okay powering through next up oh should we do stationery why not let's do stationery it's kind of stationery kind of not stationery this can be used for either i would probably use this as a makeup bag i love skinny dip makeup bags because they are clear you can kind of like see where things are and then reach in and get them i hate big makeup bags we were literally like rummaging through i actually have a disney skinny dip makeup bag i have the large size and the small size they are so good and like weird things that you don't think about like the zip is really good like they're just good products but i saw this one on the website and i fell in love it's got little cherubs on it and i call my sister and her boyfriend cherubs and it really reminded me of them <laughs> i'm a loser and i saw this and i was like cherubs i'm gonna get it for them so i bought this for my sister but look how cute it is with the little check can you see the cherubs can you see them you can use this as a makeup bag obviously as a wash bag but also super cute for like a little pencil case or something like that to take to school or anything like that i got two pens now this is kind of weird i never really buy myself nice pens because i have so many biros lying around but actually stationery makes me so so happy so when i buy like a nice pen or a nice diary it makes me really happy so i saw these and they are a little pen set two pens and it's got one that is gold and says just peachy and one that's got that peach print on it which will match your coffee so you can be in starbucks or wherever i don't know why i'm so obsessed with starbucks but you can be in like a coffee shop doing work if you ever work out and about or at your desk at work or at school and you've got your coffee and your matching pen magical and they're like heavy i know that sounds a bit weird but they've got like a weight to them which i really like in a pen just thought that was a really cute little idea eight pounds for those two next up something i haven't bought myself in forever i keep saying for myself but you know for other people as well i've bought myself a wall calendar for next year one of my best friends has a calendar in her bedroom and i always see it and i'm like oh that's so nice that you can write on the wall being like oh i'm out with jess on thursday so I can like add that into my calendar. So I picked up this and I thought it was so cute. So it says 2020, it's your year. It is, it's gonna be my year. Motivational calendar, love it. And then on the back, it's got all of the different pictures that you're gonna have throughout the year. Can you see? 
Bam, 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 bam. I always look for what my birthday is gonna be. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. My birthday is in July. Oh, okay. Um, and it says, darling, I'm different. <laughs> nice, love it, love it. Okay, so yes, right, last few bits and pieces and then we'll move on to clothing. Right, phone case, I have a phone case to show you. And you know if you've been watching my channel for the past year, how obsessed I am with moons and stars and constellations and like all of that kind of stuff. And so I saw this case and it's beautiful. It's like gold, it's got, a, I'm gonna get it out actually. And Skinny Dip phone cases are amazing. I love their phone cases. They're all like good quality. Like if you drop them on the floor, they've got like all that protection on them. There's loads of different patterns and they have Disney collaborations and all of that kind of stuff, which I love. I have loads of Skinny Dip phone cases that I use. I probably change my phone case maybe like three times a year and they're always Skinny Dip. It's got moons and stars and planets. It's a premium protection for your prized possession. You can feel it's like really thick, hard plastic. It, on the edges, it's got the extra padding so it doesn't smash. We just put it on my phone. Dun, dun, dun. It's like a glove. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought it? So yeah, that's what it looks like on the phone. Oh, you've got the ring light reflected. Oh, it's got a bit of a reflection in it. I love it. Stars and moons and all of that jazz. I love it. Oh, it's actually really, really nice. Oh, it's very nice. Brilliant. Right, next up, kind of electrical related thing, are these wireless earbuds. So I was just checking how much the Why didn't you AirPods tell me are. The the They're £249. That's crazy. These ones are £35. So let's have a look. I've wanted ones for ages because I get, oh, I get so tangled up in my headphones, in my bag. Like, I'm always sitting on the tube being like, oh my god. Oh. I'm always sitting on the tube being like, oh my god, please just untangle, I just want to listen to some music. So I'm so, so excited to try these out and or re-gift them, but you know, I'm going to keep these. So these are super cute, they come in loads of different colours on the website and in store, obviously. We're going Christmas shopping today. I'm going on Monday. Terrifying. But they come, there's a cute little, cute little house. Should put them in the house? Just push them down like that. Put them in and then here's the charging wire as well. And then let's see if they fit in my ear. Oh, 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 I've turned it on. Oh, how do I get it out? Press the button and pull. Okay, fab. How do I look? Do I look like I'm about to run a very important conference? Do I look like one of the cool kids with my earbuds? Yes. Yeah? Um, I'm really excited to try these actually. £35, these are such a good little gift if you obviously don't want to spend all that money on the Apple ones. And um, they come in loads of different patterns and colours. There's pink ones, there's marble ones. Let me know what you think. Okay, and then two bits of jewellery, then a bag, and then some clothing for you. I absolutely love the Amelia Liana collection with Skinny Dip. I think it's so, so beautiful. She did so well, and it's a beautiful collection. These earrings, again, with the moon and the stars, you know my obsession. If I hold them up to the camera, you can kind of see. So there's the moon and the little hanging star in between. Let me take it off here to show you. I need some scissors to get them out, I don't want to break them. But yes, how cute are they? And just so pretty. I love dangly earrings at the moment. Like, it's my favourite thing. I know how much I've been loving big jewellery. So yeah, I love these. And I also picked up this um, hair clip, which I'm going to put in now. And it's got the moon and stars all over it. And it's beautiful. It's still part of the Amelia Liana collection. It's just beautiful. So yeah, that is what it looks like in your hair. It's so beautiful. I've just kind of like, I don't know if, if I put it in upside down? I can't see. But And I love a clip at the moment. Like I think that just looks beautiful. Can you hear my dogs going nuts at the door? So yeah, I love it. I might keep that in actually. Why not? Okay, right, bag that I wanted to show you. Now, I'm not one to bash designer handbags. Like I love a designer bag. I am so jealous of anyone that can afford lots of designer bags. I have nothing against people buying designer handbags. If anything, I wish I could buy more. So I don't like when people take the piss out of people who buy designer bags because it's what it's your choice what you spend your money on. Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, I saw this dupe and it's a dupe of the Christian Dior tote bag thing. And I, I thought this was so funny. So this says, just a cliche. And I don't like being the person that takes the piss out of designer bags because I love designer bags. I love them. But I just saw this and I thought this was so funny. So obviously it's a dupe of this bag, the Christian Dior bag, which I'll pop here. Just saying, just a cliche, because everyone has that bag. It's everywhere. And these are the right colours. And it's like the same kind of like pattern with the thing. And this bit would normally say Christian, Christian Dior. Or if you're really cool and really famous, you get your name on it. So cool, I'm so jealous. I love this, this is just such a good bag. I'm gonna take this with me on my next holiday. Just great to like take all your stuff to the beach or use as a laptop bag in London and it's funny. I love skinny dip bags, I think they're so funny. So yeah, what do you guys think about this one? And it's big as well, it's like massive inside, it's got a little zip pocket. 
It's a nice bag, and it's funny. <laughs> if I could get the real one as well, I would. Anyway, um, let's move on to some clothes. Now, everything here is just dreamy and funny, and I love skinny dip clothing. When they started making clothes, I was like, I love everything. They had one the other day that I saw, it said baguette. This is just classic, I love baguettes. We'll start with jumpers. We'll start with this gray one first. Obviously, if you've watched any of my videos, you know my deep, deep obsession for sweatshirts and jumpers and comfy clothing and oversized jumpers and all of that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm wearing a brand new jumper now, but I wanted to show you this one. This one is a um, gray mall sweatshirt and in these lovely little multicolored letters, which kind of look like those letters that you used to put on the fridge. You know, when you were younger and you would make words on the fridge, can you see? And this one says, haters go and hate. And you know what? They are. So you may as well just get over it, carry on with what you're doing, live your best life, and wear a grey jumper with multicoloured little letters on it. So I love this, this is a medium, it's going to be big and baggy, I'll, I'll try it on to show you the sizing of it all. So I'm going to try this on and show you what it looks like. So, this is it, I'm wearing a jumper, it's a medium and I would definitely, definitely oversize, so I'm a small, but this is as small as I would go in this jumper. Can you see? Lovely. I love the letters, I love the colours, I'm just going to take this out actually because it got caught when I tried on the jumpers and I've got a few more to try on. What do you think about this one? I love this one and this is just, if you know someone that's having a bad time or anything like that, you want someone to like have a bit more confidence and just a bit more like, yeah, just do what you want to do. Everyone's going to have an issue with everything anyway so you may as well just do it. Um, you could get them this jumper and fill them with happiness. So, if you know a friend that loves peanut butter, then I found the best present for them. Peanut butter. I love this jumper again in a medium. I'll try it on and show you what it looks like. Super soft, like both of these jumpers are so, so soft. This one is like the most bold color yellow. It says peanut butter in aggressively large letters and you just know where you stand with someone like this. You know what they like, peanut butter. So yeah, I'll try this on. Oh my God, oh my God, I love it. Almost as much as I love peanut butter but not quite. So yeah, absolutely love the colour. I can just see myself hanging out in a pair of jeans. I just feel, I just feel at one with life right now. I mean, denim jeans, peanut butter on the jumper. Dreamy. All I need now is some peanut butter on toast. So yeah, let me know. What do you think about the colour of this one? Do you like this one? I love it so much. Next jumper, this I have bought to give to someone. One of my best friends. I literally can't have any form of conversation with her without her correcting my grammar. It doesn't matter what it is, she'll reply to all my Insta stories with like an asterisk and just like a name, a word change and I'm like, great, can't believe I'm 28 years old and can't spell, but it's fine. So I saw this jumper and I was like, I'm gonna give her this one for Christmas. It's a black jumper and it has just an apostrophe, your. Because I actually, that's the one thing I do get right. I get there and there and you are and your. I get that right. I know those. Mine's just like spelling I get wrong. But she has to correct me all the time with everything. I thought this was so funny. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh my god, I love this so much. And the thing with sweatshirts like this is that you can, this is a bit of a weird styling thing, but if you tuck them under your, or into your bra, you can make like a cropped jumper, which I also really like. Just a cute little way of styling them rather than just tucking them into jeans. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that as a little style tip put that in. So, so funny and it's just so passive aggressive and I love it. Next up, two t-shirts I just want to show you. They're both pink. They're both slogan t-shirts. You know how much I love a slogan jumper and a slogan t-shirt. First up is this oversized baggy kind of pyjama-y t-shirt that just says Sunday in like apostrophes and I would just wear this kind of like on a Tuesday afternoon when I'm sitting at home my tracksuit bottoms working pretending it's Sunday. Again in a medium. It is an oversized fit so you don't necessarily need to size up in it but I did, obviously, because I have a problem. And then this one, which really spoke to me. It really spoke to me. And this one says, getting out of bed is like really hard. And I've never felt something so much in my life. I like, I couldn't agree more with this t-shirt. I'll try this one on first and show you. So this one, I love, I love the red collar as well. I think this is really, really cute. Again, it's, I've oversized in this t-shirt. This is a medium, you could, you don't need to oversize in the t-shirts, you definitely do in the jumpers if you want a big slouchy fit. I would just wear this to bed really, so in the morning when I wake up and I'm eventually awake with a toothbrush in my mouth, like looking half dead in the mirror, my t-shirt is supporting me. All right, and I'll quickly try this one on for you as well. So as I said, this one is like massively oversized and I oversized in it, but I would use this as like a pyjama top. It's nice and long. Oh, it comes down to like below your bum. Perfect for like a nighty kind of vibe wear with a big pair of like comfy pants. Does anyone have like different underwear? They have like day underwear, night underwear, period underwear, you know? It's nice. I love this just for like lounging around with a pair of tracksuit bottoms and a big baggy jumper. You know my vibe, you know my vibe. But if you wanted to look a little bit cuter in bed than me, who looks 
like this. Then I picked up this pair of pyjamas off the website as well. These are so soft. So these are um, long sleeve and then they've got a little matching pair of shorts. Here we go. Here we go. Where are they? Cute little pair of shorts. I love this like patterned print. They've got roses all over them and they say angelic on them. It's really, really cute. You can obviously buy them separately if you just wanted a cute little pair of rose pyjama shorts. Or you could wear this as like a top during the day or it's meant to be a pyjama top but no one would know. Super cute, right? Super cute. Okay, so that is everything from the gift guide, kind of last minute panic shopping buy, or you know, presents for yourself shop. Let me know below your favorite ideas, your favorite pieces, your favorite jumpers, all of that kind of vibe. I really, really hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Let me know if you'd like me to do more kind of like gift guide ideas. Thank you so much to Skinny Dip for working with me on this. I've had the best time. I love Skinny Dip as a brand. So it's been such a dream to work with them. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I'll see you for another video before Christmas. But if you don't end up watching that and you've watched this, have the best Christmas ever, have the nicest winter break. And yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!